What is up everybody? It's Kelsey Brianna J here with a video on the new Mac holiday launch their snowball collection And honestly, I didn't know that you guys wanted me to do a video on this or I would have gotten it the day that it launched But I just moseyed my way onto the mall yesterday and I picked up what I could from the collection But don't worry I do have swatches of everything because a lot of the collection is sold out I'm gonna go ahead and get into that I'm gonna have a lot of inserts in this video because like I said the collection sold out so fast I wasn't even ready. So this collection launched on a Thursday as per usual with Mac October 19th and it launched online and at all Mac counters and as you guys know with Mac holiday Mac always comes out with so much stuff so they have brush kits they have pigment sets they have lipstick sets a lot of times they have a face set where it has like a little powder a little gloss all kind of different goodies but they also launch a separate collection with different products to coincide with the theme of the year this year it was the snowball collection and the collection was super super pretty very reminiscent of the fall winter snow holiday and a lot of the pieces from the collection were absolutely stunning let's go ahead and talk about it piece by piece first let's talk about the festive bling so on max website it says that this is a glitter slash crystal snowflake adornment for face slash body it's limited edition it's 1650 basically it's like a fake tattoo type situation you guys know that was all the rage a few years ago so mac was like hey let's come out with something for the holiday i think it's pretty much going to be either for theatrical purposes like for a photo shoot or either it's going to be for the kids because it's like that's that's the type of thing that you really don't need on a day-to-day -day basis and it's not really something that you think about unless you're just like a hardcore mac collector and then mac came out with two pairs of lashes both of the lashes retail for 17 dollars they are both limited edition and what's cool about these lashes is that it has a glitter line where the lash strip is it has a line of glitter which is really cute and the lash numbers are 36 and 64 next let's talk about these lipsticks so matt came out with six different lipsticks in the collection and on the displayer they have them divided up on one side is the frost and then on the other side is the mattes or the amplified finish lipsticks so of the six i got three of them and one of the ones that i wanted was sold out but I'll go through each one with you guys. So here's how the packaging looks. It's a clear plastic container and then it's trimmed in gold. It doesn't say anything on the package except for MAC. And I think it's cute because you can see inside and see your lipstick, which is a pale gold, trimmed in gold. You guys know last year the holiday collection was the Mariah Carey collection and you know that was so bold and in your face this one is a more subdued gold type packaging and then when you take it out it just looks like a clear plastic container these lipsticks are $17.50 and a lot of them are already sold out online but I would definitely say check your counters to see if they still have any in stock or what I personally do is I call around to different stores and I say hey do you have this hey do you have that or I'll call customer service and they can locate you one anywhere and then they'll ship it to you for free most of the time first color which is sold out on maccosmetics.com currently is l bell which is described as a deep red this one is an amplified finish it's such a gorgeous garnet type color and i really liked it i feel like it was really opaque i didn't have to keep building it up and i love the amplified finishes when i want to do a really dramatic type of lip amplified finishes look really pretty on the lips it gives you a nice pout so I really love those and plus that color is really gorgeous. Next we have the color Holiday Crush which is described as a muted pink with sparkle. I thought this color was really really pretty and my counter did have this color in stock. It is sold out online currently but I was like you know what when am I going to use this color? It'll be a color that's pretty for layering. Next is the color I'm glistening and I actually have that color here with me. This one is described as a light pink with purple sparkle. It also is a frost finish. This one is still in stock on MacCosmetics.com right now. Mac calls it a light pink with the purple sparkle but to me it looks more of like a taupe silverish color and I see the pink that they're referring to but the combination of the color 
it makes it look more taupe. I think this one be really gorgeous, like in combination with a chestnut lip liner or like a dark brown, and to make it pop and then put like some clear lip gloss on top. I think that'll be really fun. The next one that I picked up from the collection is Rouge in Snow, which is described as an apple red lipstick and it is matte. Again, this one is sold out online, but it's a really pretty traditional red lipstick. If you guys have a matte red lipstick that you love, I'm not gonna say it's a must have. I picked it up because it's been a while since I bought a red lipstick and honestly, I don't buy them that often. I thought this one would be really beautiful because it's such a clean red and I love blue based clean red lipsticks. Next we have the color Shimmer and Spice, which is personally my favorite lipstick from the collection. It is described as a dusty rose with shimmer, but to me it looks like a bronze base that has like a shift of pink and then it has gold shimmers in it. If you can get your hands on any of the lipsticks from this collection, this one to me is the most unique. And lastly, we have the color Warm Ice, which is described as a dull light pink with silver sparkle. And I passed on this because on my complexion, I felt like this color looked a touch ashy and I could have made it work, but I would have to do a lip pencil, the lipstick, and then maybe a gloss on top. Pretty much mute out the cool tone of the lipstick, which is the point of selecting that lipstick. And I think that it leans so cool tone because it has the silver shimmer in it. So if you're a lighter complexed person, I think that that would be a lipstick you could pull off if you like frost lipsticks. But for me, I didn't feel like it was complimentary to my complexion. Next, let's dip into the face powders. So MAC came out with two highlighter-esque looking powders. They're not categorizing it into a box, they're just calling it a face powder. The description on MAC says, this opalescent face powder transforms cheeks into pearly orbs that light up the night. Adds the perfect high impact shimmering glow to skin, features a snowflake embossed design and cool crushed champagne metallic packaging. These come in two shades and the first one is the color Here Comes Joy. This is described as a peachy gold with shimmer. Now these are very sheer. These look really beautiful in the pan. They have a really pretty snowflake design as do some of the other products from the collection. And the color in the pan looks really pretty. Very reminiscent of Whisper of Guilt or like the extra dimension skin finishes, but these are not that formula. The color payoff for these isn't very strong. These took a lot of layering up to get the amount of intensity that you see. So on one side, you'll see the really opaque swatch and that was with me digging some of the products up and then doing the swatch. And then on the side where it's the lighter swatch, it's just with me taking my finger around the pan once and then swatching. And so then we have the color Happy Go Dazzling, which is a gold with sparkle. Same thing, same formula, just a different color and a different undertone. The last things are the stars of the collection. These things are sold out everywhere. These are their extra dimension eyeshadows. And they're so sold out to the point where MAC does not even have them on their website. They don't even say sold out on their website. It's just completely taken down. All across the country, these eyeshadows are sold out. It's honestly not a lot of information regarding these products on the internet because they've basically been swiped clean off of everybody's website. These are not online anywhere. If you see them like in your local Max and you want it, snatch it up because these are really hard to come by. So there are five of the eyeshadows and these are labeled as the MAC Extra Dimension Eyeshadows. MAC Extra Dimension Eyeshadow Formula is something that they started doing a few holiday seasons ago. They've continuously done it for a few years to the point where now they've made that formula permanent and is something that you can always get but these colors are totally different these have more of a shimmer and fine glitter to them I feel like MAC has changed their extra dimension eyeshadow formula like four or five times honestly so it was the formula when it first 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 came out and it was in the big old pans and I feel like these feel like those and then we have the ones that are permanent now and to me these don't feel like those these feel like how the extra dimension eyeshadows used to feel when they were first released in the amount of shine and the amount of sparkle that you get with them. We first have the color Delicate Drift, which is a light pink with sparkle. Very gorgeous color. I really like it. Didn't pick it up. They didn't have it at my MAC counter. And then we have the color Frost Winked, which is a color that I have. This one is a white with silver pearl. I really love this color because on me, it leans a little bit more of a white gold. Typically with a color like this, you're going to get the golden and just 
stick with that but since it has that really pretty champagne background with the silver in it it makes it unique this one is the same size as their regular extra dimension eyeshadows it does have that light gold foiled packaging to it we have the color it's snowing and we have the color Starry Starry Nights, which is a black with silver shimmer. And that description is spot on. And then lastly, we have the most popular, most hard to find eyeshadow. I went on a wild goose hunt looking for this eyeshadow. I spent no less than three or four hours calling about 100 MAC counters to send me the eyeshadow. Macy's customer service does not have the ability to look up a product if it's in the store, if it's sold out online, and you cannot provide them with an item number. So if it's sold out online and you took the item off of the website, they do not have the ability to say, okay, well, let me go look it up in my database and see what the item number is and see if I can locate it in the store. They completely did not have that ability. So I went on a wild goose hunt finding this eyeshadow. Luckily today, a phenomenal, phenomenal MAC associate called me and was able to find me the eyeshadow and he is shipping it to me. But the eyeshadow that I am referring to is the one and only Stylishly Mary but it is the Stylishly Mary 2 eyeshadow. And I'm gonna tell you why I was so upset about not getting the eyeshadow in the first place. First of all, MAC already has a Stylishly Mary eyeshadow in their permanent line. And no less it's an extra dimension eyeshadow. So when I first heard about the collection, I'm looking over what all it is that I'm going to list out to buy because I like to already have an idea of what I want. In my head, I'm like, oh, I already have Stylishly Mary. I don't need that one. So when I get to the store, lo and behold, it's a different color. Not only is it a different color, but it's the prettiest color. Of all the whole collection is the prettiest thing in the entire collection. Of course, it's sold out. Okay, cool. So I call. I have about six or seven Macs in my area. I call all of them. They're sold out. Okay, cool. My mama lives in a different city. My friends live in different cities. Like, I have a way to get stuff, even if I don't want to directly ship and send with the store. Okay, so I'm calling all around. Nobody has it. All right, so let me call customer service. Somebody can source me this eyeshadow. No avail. The eyeshadow is sold out everywhere. And I was like, dog, I'm really losing my touch. I am really losing my touch. Because I used to call myself the makeup ninja back in the day because I can hunt down a product. Like, that's my specialty. If it was sold out, I'm going to find it. And I laugh in the face of somebody telling me something is sold out. But honestly, I haven't had to do that in so long. Like, I was like, dang, I'm getting rusty. But I got it. So I still got my touch. But that is so gorgeous. MAC describes that as a gold shimmer, but it's more than that, it's a gold base. It's like a rose gold base, first of all, with multi-dimensional shimmer. But that is a beautiful color. I couldn't afford not to have that in my collection. MAC has to re-release that at some point because it's too pretty just not to have that. But that is everything in the collection. Let me know if you guys are going to be picking up anything. Of course, you have the sets. I'll do a quick search over what MAC has in the sets this year and tell you what I think is the best value. This year, they're doing the little bitty mini lipstick kits for $29.50. They have pink, warm, cool and an online exclusive in rose and honestly this is the first year mac has done that little of a product in a bag so i would probably skip on that i would prefer to have larger products as opposed to the smaller products but then you get the little bit lipstick kit so it'll be a cute stocking stuffer so it all depends on what you're getting in for then you also have the mini lip gloss kit and again mac normally does like the bigger glosses but i guess this year they're cutting it and then i see in here they have a mix of finishes they have a vamplify here and maybe that's their way of telling people to try the Vamplify formula because MAC Vamplify formula is amazing. It's one of those slept on products nobody talks about. You have new pink and rose. Again, it comes with the bag. Again, I don't like mini stuff, so I'm going to say pass on that, but if you need a stocking stuffer. And then they have the Snowball Eye Compact. They have that in two shades. All of this is $29.50 from what I can see. Really decently priced. They have one in rose gold and then they have one in the color gold. I did not swatch that, so I don't know how the eyeshadows feel. 
but for me if you're looking at something that's coming in the holiday kit you have the packaging and all the stuff like that I would think that that would be great for a makeup beginner so like a 13 14 year old that's just now getting into makeup looks like a great product to start them off and then Mac always has the pigments and glitter kits and these are $29.50 as well um normally I remember Mac coming with five pigments I think that they may have reduced their price points because at one point, I don't know, I, I kind of remember them being $35 or $39, one or the other, and you're getting five products. So I would prefer that as opposed to three, but they have the gold and the pink. As per usual, MAC has their brush kits. These are for people who like to A, have brushes to travel with, or B, you enjoy buying the cutesy brush kits. The difference between these and regular MAC brushes is that regular MAC brushes are made by hands, and then they have the different materials, and these MAC brushes are all have synthetic fibers and they are machine made they're $49.50 and then there's two now there's three different brush kits one of them is the basic brush kit it looks like it has a powder brush some type of foundation brush eyeshadow brush eyeshadow detailer brush and a spoolie brush and then you have the advanced brush kit which has two angled brushes it looks like it has a fluffy eyeshadow brush another fluffy diagonal eyeshadow brush and then an eyeliner brush and then you have the snowball brush kit mini that has a powder brush a eyeshadow blender brush and an angled eyeliner brush I don't know how all those brushes go together how they came up with that concept that one is $29.50 and then the best looking little gift set to me is the snowball mini lipstick kit and this one has 12 mini lipsticks crowd favorite shades in a special packaging it's a $120 value and it's $69.50 that one is the cutest to me so like if you're giving your niece a gift or your little sister a gift somebody that's not really into makeup this is so cute because it has an array of lipsticks there's something in there for everybody and it has that really cute little packaging so that's what I would personally pick if I was going to be giving somebody a gift or if you're a person who does not have a lot of lipsticks this will be a great way to be into trying MAC lipsticks. That's the ones that it has in there. It has a little darling. I don't know that color. Please Me, which was like one of MAC's most popular pink lipsticks for forever. Mangrove, Ruby Woo. You guys know Ruby Woo is the most popular lipstick like of all time. There's no lipstick that outsells Ruby Woo across any brand. And then you have Rebel, Flat Out Fabulous, Good Kisser, Diva, Velvet Teddy, Whirl, and Stone. That's a cute gift. I think that that's a great selection of colors. But that's everything from the collection. Let me know if you guys are going to be picking up anything from Max Holiday Collection. I'm sorry that I got this video out late. Honestly, I didn't anticipate the collection selling out as fast as it did. I recommend anything for you to get is 100% the Stylishly Married to eyeshadow if you can find it. But other than that, the eyeshadows are absolutely gorgeous. I like my lips and then everything else it's not a personal must-have for myself, but let me know what you picked up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. That way you can keep up with me, and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Smooches!